Only on NBC Bay Area tonight, our investigative unit has obtained the sheriff's report detailing the motive behind a violent jail attack on Shannon O'Connor. She's the so-called Los Gatos party mom. That report lays out why five other inmates assaulted O'Connor, who's in custody awaiting trial for allegedly throwing alcohol-fueled parties for underage teenagers. Investigative reporter Candace, uh, Candace Wynn has the exclusive story. These 18 pages describe an environment in jail where Shannon O'Connor was extorted, attacked, and feared retaliation. O'Connor and one of the inmates who assaulted her told investigators the attack was motivated by how the inmates felt about her ongoing criminal case. On October 24th, at Elmwood Correctional Facility in Milpitas, a sheriff's deputy was leading Los Gatos mother, Shannon O'Connor, to a cell. According to the incident report obtained exclusively by the investigative unit, inmates inside the cell began to shout and make threats that they would beat her up. One of those inmates told investigators she was motivated to attack O'Connor because she did not like the kind of charges that O'Connor was in custody for. Another inmate said O'Connor was referred to as the party mom, and all the inmates inside the pod told the deputies they did not want O'Connor inside the pod. According to the report, the deputy asked O'Connor if she wanted protective custody. O'Connor declined and was put in the cell. About 10 minutes later, she was attacked by Danielle Chavez, Anita Quiros, Erica Amaya, Mariana Gardia, and Sofia Vigil. O'Connor suffered a head injury and a concussion, bruising on her ribs and back, and a broken nose. So prisoners have their own code of ethics, if you will, and they have a point where certain crimes are not acceptable. Mike Leninger is a retired police detective. He says child abuse and endangerment charges are on the top of that list, even if there hasn't been a conviction. Protective custody isolation is probably the safest thing for you. O'Connor has been in custody without bail for more than a year and a half. She's awaiting trial on 39 criminal counts for allegedly hosting booze-filled parties for her underage son and his friends. Prosecutors say she encouraged some of them to be sexual with each other. A source close to this case tells us that O'Connor fears going to prison convicted of these kinds of charges, fearing she won't come out alive. Are those concerns valid? I think that's a bit dramatic. Should they be concerned about their safety? All prisoners should be concerned about their safety. There's gang issues. There's gang dropouts. Uh, there are subsets of these gangs now. Um, they all need to be concerned about their safety. And the prisons also react accordingly. The incident report shows O'Connor told investigators she remembered Chavez said she needed to pay each of the female inmates inside the dorm $300 a week. Chavez denied the allegation when asked about it. Initially, O'Connor did not want to seek prosecution against the inmates who attacked her, saying she was afraid of retaliation. Court documents show the five inmates were prosecuted and pled no contest to assault. We reached out to their attorneys. They had no comment or didn't respond. The sheriff's office told me it provides the highest level of safety standards and that risk assessment is an ongoing process when someone is incarcerated. With the investigative unit, Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News.